Sea Drill is one of the largest drilling contractors in the world with operations across the globe. It has the youngest fleet of all the major drilling contractors and invests in the future. Sea Drill people are essential to that future. I am your handover today and I'll make sure you have the information needed for you to be ready for what's going to happen in the simulator in a short while. The report following the Macondo incident, recommendations for enhancements to well control training, examination and certification by the International Association of Oil and Gas Producers, set out recommendations to improve well control training in the industry. The report concluded that personnel involved in active well operations should have continuous training through regular hands-on simulation exercises. As a company, Cedral is one of the newest and one of the largest drilling contractors in the world and we had serious issues with what was available globally as a standard of training today and equally with the certification process. We didn't think it was fit for purpose and didn't prove competence, which was our big concern. We spent now almost a year with MERS discussing and outlining the source of uh, this type of course, how we put it together, how we produce it, and also we spent a lot of time as a company with IWCF as a certification body to get them on board to the whole idea. So this has become a joint effort then between the three parts of the organization. Aside from this is OGP, who've wanted this brought into the industry for five or 10 years now. And I think it's a great signal to them that it can be done. It's only the will that's required and then you have it. Well controlled certification needed to evolve into a competence philosophy. The vision is to embed the relevant skills and attitudes in training and operational practices and build an appreciation of the importance of human factors. When the industry has been doing simulator training, we have like three hours and then maybe five minutes uh, at the end of the, the session to do some short debriefings. We'd like to do it slightly different. We'd like to do perhaps two hour simulator training and then up to an hour debriefing because we find that the reflections done in cooperation with the participants in reflecting on own uh, actions that, that tend to generate better learning. I totaled up our, our, our running losses, yep. cumulative losses, and uh, 11.5 miles total since we yep. started pumping with the higher mud uh, yep. rate that gives the, the losses. Obviously reduced the 50 strokes per minute and that cured the dynamic loss. Yep. Okay. But that uh, cumulative loss 11.5 and we came to 9.6 km. So we've actually got two more barrels in the system. Sea Drill has been the first drilling contractor to incorporate these recommendations and selected MESC training as a partner to deliver the most comprehensive well control training in the industry. We think this new course is one way of doing that. And the particular thing with this course, the enhanced well control, is that it's, it's at a higher level uh, on the well control side, but it also combines the human factor elements into the, to the well control operations, which are just as important because all accidents investigation shows that even though everybody was competent, all the equipment worked, we still see mistakes out there and we still see accidents happening. At the training center in Denmark, a crew from Sea Drill is on one of the first training courses using this new philosophy. The course takes place in one of the most sophisticated simulators ever built. It's as close to being on the rig as it can get. 6,885 strokes have been displaced so far. Just as I said outside at the meeting, that's before we unfreeze. When I now unfreeze the simulation, the pumps will be running by 50 strokes per minute. Well, this is an excellent course. I've taken a lot away from it because this, this course is almost like uh, introducing a step change in uh, well control training. It was very useful to, uh, to do a well control course with uh, good simulator work, but introducing human factors so that the guys involved in the course start to understand how their own behaviors are affecting the decisions that they make and the decisions they make as a group and how that can affect the outcome of uh, a well control situation. 1,007 PSI. 11. 11.7 PSI. Right. On the button? Yeah. Really fantastic so far. It's uh, the idea is to have an advanced or enhanced well control 
course um, that supplements and goes a little bit beyond where we currently are with the level four supervisor uh, course at present. And to combine that with the CRM or crew resource management so that uh, you have a crew or a team going through the well control uh, course at the same time. But that well control course that they're going through is a little bit higher level than they've typically been used to. So pushing the crew, pushing the supervisors and hopefully uh, challenging them to, uh, to learn some new, uh, new skills and competencies. It's taken over a year to develop this new state-of-the-art course. As recommended by the IOGP, Cedrill is focusing on the human factor and on training employees to make appropriate decisions in stressful simulated situations rather than evaluate them through written tests. Well, we're actually open, share. We're at 1200 right now. When these guys finish here and go back to the rig, I hope what they're going to take away with them uh, a new level of understanding and, uh, and let's say, consciousness of what it's going to be like in a, in a well control event. You can see here in the simulator, uh, it looks exactly like uh, an offshore uh, unit right now with the cyber chairs, etc. Um, so they'll have experienced. A, an abnormal well control incident, let's say, not your usual uh, bit is on the bottom of the hole, gas influx in, which is the normal test. But they'll have done something different. They'll have found themselves in an abnormal well control condition. Uh, and as a group, rather than as an individual, solve the issue at hand and bring the well back under control again. Um, and of course, that makes it real life. They are going to have experienced very realistic scenarios that have taken place here in the simulator. My wish, my belief is they will leave here thinking I could do with that in the real world. They will leave with a positive feeling that they've genuinely understood a lot of the complexities of well control, which aren't all technical. They're human as well, just as much as the technical side of the issue. And they've had the opportunity to see both in action and themselves in action. Um, absolutely, when we leave here now, the intention is to start doing this on a regular basis. And within Cedro, we're looking at between 300 and 350 people going through these courses in the first year. We already have in place a global agreement with MERS Training to undertake all our well control training. We've used the centre here in Svenborg for the pilot, but it will be available in Dubai, in Aberdeen, in Houston and hopefully in the future in Brazil to at some point down the road. So what we have is the ability to send our people to any of their centers in the world. Which the effort that all the team are making, the trainers and the trainees, is excellent. So I'm very, very pleased.